I don't. I mean, I have a celebrity crush, but I think they might. They should know. Oh, they know? No, they should know. Well, who is it? I don't know. There's somebody. Somebody's son. Well, okay. Can you give me a hint? You um, can. You can say it. You can shoot your shot. So he knows. I don't want to shoot my shot at that man, <laughs> but he he cute or whatever. <laughs> Brooklyn-born rapper Lola Brooke has had the entertainment industry on its toes since she hit the scene with her viral hit single, Don't Play With It. From her artistic influences to how New York has shaped her life and her hustle. This episode of Stepping Into the Shade Room is brought to you by WeTV. Don't miss the premiere of Brat Loves Judy, November 30th at 9 p.m. your girl Tembi and today we've got Miss uh, 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 Lola Brooks coming into the shade room. Hey what's up my love? How are you? I can't complain just been working. Okay so before we start you gotta sing this song with me. Lola 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 been that bitch and I'm still that bitch. Lola 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 been that bitch. And I'm still that bitch. Oh my God, I, that's my favorite song on the album. For real? It is. It's so catchy. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's a, re it's a really good one. Um, okay, so we know that the Brook in your name stands Seth for Brooklyn, Brooklyn. But Lola's not your real name. No. <laughs> What's your real name? My real name is Shanice. Shanice? Yeah, Shanice. I can see that. You look like a Shanice. I do? You do. I'm glad my mom would be proud. You know, <laughs> You gonna like that one. Yeah, you look like a Shawnee's. Um, but there's three things before we get into it that we just gotta know. Mm -hmm. What can't we play with? Why can't we play with it? And what happens when it's played with? Don't play with my time. Okay. Because if you play with my time, that means you play with my money. Okay. And if you play with my money, that means you wanna get f***ed up. Okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Don't play with it. No, don't play with that. Don't play with it. Okay, so are you still looking for, um, what is it? Are you still looking rough for a roughneck negrito on the tongue? Negrito. Or you found him? Are you looking for a rough negrito? Negrito. I'm, yeah. <laughs> you found I'm, him or are you still looking? No, it's a lot of them out here, though. I just got to pick. Pick which one you like? I just got to pick which one I like, but I'm scared to pick, girl. I'm scared. I'm picky. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, so Lola, at one point, you know, you're Section 8, you're struggling. The yeah. next day, you, you're blowing up and you got some money in your pocket. What's that transition like that, like, goes through your mind from being unknown and hustling and, you know, trying to get what you're trying to get to all of a sudden you've got one of the biggest songs on the internet, if not the world? What I can say about that is discipline is plays a big part of my life. Hmm and patience so i've waited my turn i've waited on my time time is everything you cannot rush time it's been multiple places that i've been that was kind of dark but the darkness don't last for too long you know mm -hmm. some things just always going to come to light for sure but now that don't play with it has been uh my first break mm -hmm. it's been for me it should still work. Yeah. Like I cannot play with it. <laughs> like the song, the song came out in 2021. It was close to two, almost two years that it actually got a buzz, and that just shows me, like, listen, you go at your pace, your speed, because you just never know. But the only thing I know for sure is just don't give up. Mm, that's beautiful. What was most important to you when you were signing your deal? Making sure that the people that I was merging my team with uh, respect me and my team as well as my identity mm -hmm. and don't want to change me. It wasn't it wasn't anything else that I could think about to make me feel safe it was my identity and my team. Mm. What did you do to make sure um, you didn't, you know, that what you wanted was fair for you? Because, you know, sometimes a lot of people get duped, you know, in their first signing and all of that stuff. So what was... Yeah, what was those steps you took to make sure that, that you were cool and everything was fair for what at least you wanted out of the deal? The steps was me not being greedy. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a deal to be made for money. It was a deal to be made for opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I know that I had to stand on business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to stand on business and ev everything that I've ever got, I've earned it. So I didn't want the labels feeling like 
I want, want, want. I'm willing to earn whatever's on the table for me because it's going to feel better and then my legacy, like, lasts longer. Yeah. So, yeah. What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? The new face of New York City. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, New York, New York. <laughs> you, new York, New York, what up with it? You are? You have such a strong New York accent. Do you know how to do any other I do? accent? Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna talk like this the rest of the interview. I talk like that? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what you know so crazy? Uh, how you say talk? You say talk. I say talk. And I say talk. Talk. Walk. Walk. You heard? You heard? You. You. Heard? heard. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. Do you know how to do a British accent? I would hope so. Yeah, I'm just, that's not bad. I'm not too bad. That's not bad Am at I? all. No. Yeah, I, I try to practice as much as I can. Yeah, because you know in, in, in London, how they pronounce the word is similar like in New York, right? Mm. So they say walk, talk. You talk. say walk, talk. I say walk, talk. Right. Lola Brook. <laughs> <laughs> and the Brook stands for Brooklyn. <laughs> So Jenna's daughter is dedicated to your dad who yeah. passed on. Um, what was the thought process behind honoring, honoring him in this way? Honestly, me being in the studio helped me figure out that I was comfortable with telling my true story. So I was just making music and I was talking in one of my songs. Actually, I Am Lola, mm-hmm. there wasn't a second verse. Mm. The second verse was me just talking. So I was just talking a lot of ish. And I was like, I'm Dennis' daughter. And I sat back. I said, I think that might be it. Like, it's right there in front of your face. Honestly, I might have made another song before that and figured out that I wanted to be Dennis' daughter. But it was the music that made me realize that's the lane that I wanted to go to. So I didn't, that wasn't forced. Mm. It just was, I felt like it was a calling. Like, yeah. it just was in front of my face, and I didn't ignore it. It's a really good name for an album. Thank you. It is. And you've, you've had so many collabs from Coyle Ray mm-hmm. to Sierra, Young Miami, Lotto, you know, all the yes. girls. Uh, what's, what was your favorite out of all of the collabs you've had uh, outside of those as well? <sighs> Dad, that's hard. Okay, so Lotto, mm-hmm. it's not that me and her click. It's her click, click with my click. Mm. It's it's just so crazy. <laughs> like, um, one of the moments we had, uh, I was performing at something in the water, and I had brought Lotto out with me. Pharrell brought me out, and then I brought Lotto out with me, and we was just in the trailer, just talking, and everything was just so organic. We was mm-hmm. just laughing. I didn't even feel like we was at work. Yeah, it just felt as if. We was just there just to be there. Like, mm-hmm. it just so happened. So a lot of our chemistry is, like, really unmatched. Yeah. Is there someone who you really want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? I like sexy. Sex? Sexy. <laughs> that could be sexy. hot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I like sexy. Yeah, that could be hot. I also want to hear you and, like, Young M.A. on a track. I don't know why, but I feel like your voices together. You know, it's so crazy. I love Young M.A. Yeah. Love Young M.A. I had a whole argument about Young Young M.A. recently with somebody. I was like, New York City don't play a bump ball. And they was just talking crap. We was in a club. Yeah. And then, ooh, came on and turned ooh. the club up. And yeah. the first thing I did was look at them from across the room. <laughs> and they was like, ah, you yeah. got it. I say, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Right. No, I feel like both of you guys, like your sounds mm-hmm. on a track. She's just so raw and authentic, yeah. like... That could go crazy. Herself, so. Yeah. When you think about your your trajectory, um, you know, someone like you and and for example, Ice Spice came out around the same time. Mm-hmm. You both had like big hits that you started with. And when you think about the trajectory of how she's amassed so much so quickly, mm-hmm. um, in a comparable way to other talent, what does like the industry or like your team and the people around you tell you as to why that is? As to you know, you got. A lot of you girls came out at the same time, mm-hmm. all hot songs, but it's like, it, it doesn't seem to be the same type of trajectory right. across the board. I feel that I believe in God mm-hmm. and whatever people timing is, that's their timing. My team don't have to sit me down and prep talk me about why this is this way and why your journey is this way because I already know what my journey is and I'm very patient. I've been patient for the very beginning. And that's not for me to fix my face, to screw my face about somebody else's destiny, Mm -hmm. because then I'm going to block my blessings. 
Right. So what's for me is for me, and mm. I stand on that, and I'm cool with it. it. Yeah. What's been your biggest I made it moment so far? <sighs> Just touching the people. Mm -hmm. um, being relatable. Well, knowing that I'm being relatable to the people. Mm -hmm. That's for sure a thing for me. When you got, like, your first check or, like, one of your first big checks, like, what was the first thing you bought? Yes, so many people ask me that, and I really didn't make a big, big purchase yet. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been so broke that <laughs> <laughs> now that I finally, I'm comfortable, well, let me not say I'm comfortable. I can be comfortable, but yeah. I don't allow myself to be comfortable because we just had a pandemic in 2020. I right. don't know when the next pandemic is hitting. Right. So if I can't get something five times back to back, then I shouldn't be purchasing it. So, mm -hmm. um, patience is everything for me. So I just... Let it be known that it's going to come. Mm -hmm. What I did with my money was I purchased a new home. Mm -hmm. I changed my environment, you know. Mm -hmm. And I make sure I take care of my mom as much as I can. And she don't have to worry too much. And that's pretty much it. And everything else is being invested. And I'm yeah. trying to invest this money so that when the time comes, the big purchase is the biggest purchase. Right. What, you know? what do you want? Do you know? I want... Mm, I want. I don't even have a big family, but I just want a big mansion to where my mom do not have to leave. Mm -hmm. I damn near want a grocery <laughs> store in my mansion. I don't want my mother to leave the house at Aww. all. I want her to have whatever she tell me that she want. You want a spa? Mm -hmm. We gonna put a spa in there. I I don't want her to like feel like she needs to work for anything. Right. Just stay home. And for me, my home is peace because mm -hmm. my mom she catered to the home. As much as she could. That's all. She, everything was about the interior. Yeah. In the house. Well, you seem to have a really good relationship with your mom, and yeah. so that's great. Where did you learn um, the money management aspect from? Because it's great to see that you know a lot of people when they come into to money, even if it's not a, a, a big amount that's changed their lives, they spend it very recklessly, and it's like they just do do all the things, and then they're living paycheck to paycheck, mm -hmm. or do, they don't invest, and, you know, all of those things. So where did you learn that? financial knowledge from as an artist anything that you want to know is on the internet so that you can part. always research it. <laughs> you can always research it and i have a bomb team that's gonna let me know the outskirts that i don't know about you know mm -hmm. so for me i've watched people experience as well you know some of the greats they had they they times they down times and they had to get back up on their feet and rebrand they self. Mm -hmm. And those are the those are the documentaries that you should be looking in towards. Yeah. So I go online, look up things. Mm -hmm. My team sit me down, let me know. And then I teamed up with an independent production before me signing with Arista, mm -hmm. Team 80, and we had other artists to where we all can feed off each other and, okay, this happened to you, we both, we all learn from that mistakes, mm -hmm. that mistake. Something happened to me, everybody take charge and learn from that mistake, and we just grow together. Um, I really just want to know, like, how tall are you? I'm 4'10". I'm four, on my ID. 4'10". On my ID, I'm 4'10". They said I was 5'2". I don't know where they get that Who from. Who said you 5'2"? I don't know somebody. Oh, we got to do a side-by-side because -side, I'm 5'3". See? So. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm like, it's not giving anyone I ain't no 5'3". I ain't even 5 feet. <laughs> people crazy <laughs> where do you get your height from like is it your dad's side of the family your mom's side like how tall are your parents well my mom is 411 and i asked my dad how tall he was when i was younger and he said five eight okay but then my grandmother told me he was lying but i so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so but i i'll just say he five eight i, res yeah. I respect his, his what, what's your shoe size uh i'm a three in kids and i wear 35 in women's what, and what's that? Like a like a five in women's. Okay. Yeah. Damn. That's little, right? <laughs> that is. That you know? is. But it's cool because I remember um being in kindergarten and my mom would take me to the bathroom before picture days and she'd mm. like, take some tissue yeah. and stuff it in my shoes. <laughs> Are you one of those girls who has to have a, a height requirement? Like how tall does your partner have to be? Girl, I ain't got. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's a lot of shorter girls who are like, I need him to be 6'1", 6'2", and it's like, mm -mm, leave it for the tall girls. The bigger, the harder they fall. So <laughs> I, if that man cannot protect my life, I do not care how tall he is. Yeah. I'm too little to not be protected. Mm. So, But I could say 
five, six, five, seven. It's not bad to me. See, as long as I could see, look that's already too, too tall. There, because there's for, for you. That's not <laughs> there's girls. There's girls who say they're like the short girls take all the all the tall guys. They don't leave them for for us. They're not considerate. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind tall men, though. Yeah. I don't mind it. But I'm not judging because I'm yeehaw. Right. So, like. Yeah. Well, who's who's your celebrity crush? Who your celebrity crush? <laughs> <laughs> My celebrity crush? Um, I don't. I mean, I have a celebrity crush, but I think they might. They should know. Oh, they know? No, they should know. Well, who is it? I don't know. There's somebody, somebody's son. Well, can can you give me a hint? You um, can you can say it. You can shoot your shot. So he knows. I don't want to shoot my shot at that man, <laughs> but he he cute or whatever. <laughs> but I'm not shooting my shot at that um, man. Ja, is he a rapper, a singer, an actor, an athlete? Is he in the public eye? Not real. Not I would not too not not too crazy in the public eye. I don't really like. I'm very secretive and I. I'm the only child. Mm-hmm. I'm secretive. I don't want nobody. No. <laughs> <laughs> and if I do, and yeah. if I do, then you know I'm still on business. <laughs> but other than that, I don't want nobody know my business. <laughs> now we know that Lola is about her business, but it's time for us to find out what she's down to play with and what is absolutely off limits. Um, so while speaking of your business, let's play a little game. Okay. okay, we're gonna call it play with it or don't play with it. All right. Okay, and basically you just, I'm gonna ask you a question and you'll let me know um, whether you would do it, play okay. with it, or whether you wouldn't do it. Don't okay. play with it, okay? okay. Uh, go to the Cheesecake Factory for a date. I'm playing with that. Playing with it, right? Yeah. Cheesecake is good. Ah, yeah. ah, ah, ah. <laughs> a polyamorous relationship. Play with it or don't Nine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not playing with it. I'm not playing with it. I'm not with that. That's wild. Uh, getting flown out by a man you just met. No, nah, I'm not playing with it. I'm no. not with all that. Yeah. No. That's, uh, that's <laughs> Sex on the first date. Nah, I've I'm not. I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you just never know what the future holds. Yeah. But I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> never done that before. Uh, dating someone with kids. Oh, that's, that's cool. We'll play with it. Okay, we'll play with it. Uh, telling your partner your body count. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got no shame in my game. Okay, well, there you go. You, mm. you, you, you playing and you're not playing. Um, okay, I'm going to play another game with you. Okay. All right, the next game is called There's a Roommate at the Zoo. Okay? Okay. So these are questions submitted by our roommates. Really? Oh, really? okay. Hold on. <laughs> they about to get crazy. <laughs> what happened, roommates? <laughs> All right, so... The first question they want to know. Here we go. I said, they want to know if the bottoms of your feet are silky, soft, and smooth. These little feet, baby, um, <laughs> <laughs> size of a newborn. Yeah, it feel, size of a newborn, feel like a newborn. Uh, someone said they want to know your favorite snack because they feel like it's Takis for some reason. My favorite snack is actually chocolate covered strawberries really yeah oh white chocolate covered strawberries i don't like really like the dark chocolate no do you feel that way about like men too i love dark chocolate <laughs> what about white chocolate i love white chocolate <laughs> i love caramel yeah all the things. <laughs> um someone wants to know who's on the next song mm, they're from new york okay so i can say that a rapper a singer rapper Female, male? Male. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Can if you could guess it, I'll just tell you. Ooh. Okay, old school, you new get, school. No, you, how many terms you want? <laughs> <laughs> Let, okay, old school new, or new school? I don't know if he's from New York. Is it Fabio? No, it's not Fabio. No. You get one more. Ooh, can I get three? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is it Dave East? Oh, you let him take your turn. Mm -mm. It's Davies? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm stressed. All right, fine. I'm, I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up. Is, is that a hint? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone wants, okay, they said they don't want to know nothing but your credit card information. 
uh, what I was, uh, I was, uh, um, I'm as well as EBT. Like, hey, Max, you want the EBT? <laughs> for you to go swipe up i am done um someone would like to know how you became discovered and what you would tell new artists on the come up how i became how well, you got discovered yeah you know for me i got discovered like twice <laughs> <laughs> but how i got discovered was it's i'm gonna just make the long story short okay new york uh, new york minute i'm gonna give it a new york minute I had a teammate, Bleezy, he offered to do a feature with me, a okay. feature with me. I came pulled up, and he introduced me to his team, which is Team 80. I was independent, did a deal with Team 80 Production, and then I've been working, 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 and then got signed to Arista, and then the buzz started off from Twitter and landed on TikTok. Landed on so TikTok. that's, that's, to shorten it up, that's yeah. my upcoming as an artist are you one of those people who do you get like offended when people talk about oh it's a tiktok song or whatever whatever or are you no. like here for it no yeah i ain't mad what me be bad at something like that that's so petty yeah you know mm -mm. if you if you didn't rap what would your um dream occupation be actress actress oh can you act yeah you want to get into acting yes oh l let me see something um I did, I did East New York. Would you got to put me, we going to try to figure that part out. I did East New York on CBS. Okay. Yeah, uh, I had two episodes. But what, what you want me to? Um, okay, I'll set the scene. Okay. Um, you just found out that your husband. Oh, you trying to make me cry. Has. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or I mean, what, well, let's try it. What? Oh, okay. No, go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> what kind of role would you like to play? Let's start there. Like, what kind of like movies or shows? Like, if you could, if dream I could play for a show, Clo uh, Chloe and set it off. Okay. So you want mm. something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need something like that, girl. I want people to be like, I want people to see me and be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm done. Um, someone would like to know: Would you choose the money or the conversation with Jay Z? That man. That man said, "Take the money, <laughs> right?" So I'm take gonna, the money. I'm gonna take the money, right? Right? Yes. Right? And the money gonna get me that flight to go see him because <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I'm pulling up. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, how do you feel? How do you deal with the negative feedback as a new young female artist? I ignore it so much. It only be, all right so my journey I, I think I need to stop saying my journey been long mm -hmm. because I'm not upset about it and, and I feel like that come off as if I'm upset about my journey being long my my journey took its time mm. and for me to finally get my spot and then get angry because somebody disagree with me having success, that's not my problem. Right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I don't feed into things like that because I have more, I have energy to put in other places. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a family to feed. I have a, a team to be motivated by, so. I love it that yeah. you're, you're so confident and you've got, like, a really good good head on your shoulders. Yeah, I'll be trying. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the number one question here is, how old you are 29 29 yeah because there was a rumor that you were like 32, 32. <laughs> these people be like what's wrong with being 32 nothing is wrong with being 32 it's just that i'm, I'm not. not 32 <laughs> or they would say oh how she getting mad that we call her 32 when she not even far from it yeah because i'm not 32 <laughs> like who want to be called the age that they're not like yeah. i'm not ashamed of my age yeah i'm 29 years old it's people that went to high school with me i'm mm. in the yearbook you can find those things yeah. out like, why would i lie about that and um they want to know mm. well i want to know actually too okay. was that you in that car hanging off when somebody was driving and you're, you're hanging off saying you're not getting off the car, was that you? In that video? <laughs> that was you, wasn't it? <laughs> what was happening there? Let me call that girl. Let me call that because she is embarrassing me. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't you? No, I don't know who that girl is. I know her no. name, Chi Chi. I called, I contact her. 
I said, yo, look, listen. These people think that I'm you on this car. Can you please tell the people that that's not me? And she was like, no. And I was like, all right. No, Lola, that, that was you. That had to have been you. There's no way that wasn't you. I don't even sound like that. That was you. I don't even talk <laughs> like that girl. Yes, I talk like a, what she said? Let me, let me, let let me pull, pull it up. It up. Let, I don't talk like her. Let me pull it up because I oh. was like, that's definitely her. She gonna pull it up too, I'm about right? To pull it up right <laughs> she here. Pull it up. You talk about I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you don't really want no static. Uh, that's 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 not you. That's about to raise your hands. Is that me? It's no hands. But it's also your team. <laughs> Come on, y'all, hold me down. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, the last question, um, which I think is, is, is so beautiful. They said, who is her mom because she created a legend? Oh, aw. <laughs> nah, they got me with that one. My mom is, I'm your daughter. Mm -hmm. I'm Dennis' daughter, and I'm also your daughter. And she played a big, she played one of the biggest moments, parts in my life. Mm. I've never watched that lady uh, she never wore her paint on her sl uh, her sleeves. She never complained. She never asked for help. Even if it was given, she would accept it. But she watched and she she watched yeah. who who to take it from and who not to. She's phenomenal. I just want to say, Ma, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You did a uh, phenomenal job with raising me. I've know I know that it's been really hard, but I promise you, your girl not gonna play with it because. You need you need like a. I always tell her in one of my in one of my um freestyles that I did on Double XL, I was like um something about Section Eight, but you know I feel like her dreams should be way more bigger than what she's dreaming now. Mm. So I just pray that I could give her like the biggest dream of all. Oh, I love like that. that. Shout out to that's the that's the name of the next album then, daughter. <laughs> you know what? It don't sound bad though because right. <laughs> my, my mom's my mom's is a little mad at Dennis right now. She like, look, listen, I'm still here. Right. <laughs> sweeping up, sweeping up the crumbs, man. You mm -hmm. keep playing with me. But now nah, my mom's is I love her. I yeah. love you, mom. Oh, I love that. Well, Lola, tell us what you got coming up next. What's going on? You wanna plug anything? Now is the time to let the people know. All right, look, listen, hey, come on. We gotta do it like this. Dennis' daughter is out right now, y'all. My debut project. Make sure you tap into that. My single, don't play. Oh, dad, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Still, in. don't get me started. Let's move on. So don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started. Featuring Coyle Ray and Nisha. Uh, and if I want to follow me, Lola Dog Brooke. But just don't be uh, going too crazy in the comments, cause then I'm gonna be hitting up Shade Room to be putting y'all in the Shade Room. <laughs> There we have it, roomies. It's uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I like the drag out. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Lola Brooke, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, I appreciate of it. Hey, roommates. If you want to see more celebs stepping into the shade room, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here.